Hello and welcome to this short presentation which will be showing you how you can set up appointments using Google Form and Google Calendar. So this is a short video for teachers um, and it shows you how you can set up appointments for parent-teacher meetings. So um, I set this up because at the moment with the coronavirus outbreak we're unable to have face-to-face -face parent teacher meetings so we'll be having online meetings with our parents and this is a way to schedule those meetings and also to create links to um, for those meetings in Google Meet okay so let's have a look how I did that well I'll show you what I'm going to go through first of all there are five steps basically Step one is to install the add-on in Google Forms. Step two is to create a calendar with all the slots of when you're free. Step three is to go back to Google Forms and create the form which you will send to your parents. Um, step four is to, to double check it and then step five is to go ahead and send it out. So they're the five steps which I'll be going through in this video. Let's get started. So first of all, head to Google Forms, and as I said, you need to get an add-on. An add-on is like an extension or an app for Google Forms. So you need to head over here to get a new add-on. You scroll down to add-ons here, and the name of the add-on you're going to use is Booking Calendar. Booking Calendar. So there are a few other extensions and apps which can do this, but I found that this is uh, by far the easiest. So, booking calendar, and then you click add, and then that will install this add-on to your Google Forms. Okay? I've already done it, so it's already installed. Um, and there are also some good videos here showing how it works and all the different features that it has. So, um, if you need some more information after this video, please do go here and look at their professional videos. Okay, great. Right, so we've, we've opened up our Google form. I'm going to name this form before I go any further. That's uh, Parent Teacher Teams Okay, so I've set that up. Now I'm going to go to Google Calendar and create my slots. Okay, so step one has been created. Step two, go to Google Calendar. Okay, so I actually started this a little bit earlier. So what you need to do is you need to go down here and click create a new calendar. Okay, create a new calendar. And then you name that calendar Parent Teacher Meeting. Um, and then you put all your slots within that Google Calendar. Okay, I've already created this one. And here are, I've already also set up four slots. So I'm going to set up the fifth slot to show you how that works. So you click on there, click the times. So mine are half an hour slots, so 10 to 10.30. Okay, and I'm going to write down the name of my slot will be 10 a.m. meeting. This one it starts at 10 a.m. Okay. Yes, I want to add Google Meet conferencing. So it creates a link for this time slot, which is very, very useful. Okay. And then also, lots of calendars, make sure you choose the correct calendar. So yeah, I'm using the calendar by this name. Okay, I'm just going to create one more again. Okay, so click here again. Okay, set up the times, 10.30 to 11 o'clock, 30 minutes. And I'm going to call this 10.30 to begin. Okay, yes, I want to have a Google Meet. And yes, it's this calendar. Okay. So you can see that I already have six slots running from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. So I've created my slots for when the appointments will be available. Now I'm going to head back to Google Forms. Okay. So you can see there, step one created, step two created, moving on to step three. Okay. So step three. Um, something I would suggest when you're doing any Google form is to collect email addresses just so you know who's replying to you, especially when you're dealing with parents because you don't want to, you know, 
um, get mixed up between one parent and another or anything like that. Okay, so I'll collect the parents' email so I know who it is that I'm meeting. Okay. Question one, I'll always ask. Um, What is your child's name? Okay. So you want to make sure you you're prepared <laughs> and you're not mixing up one parent with another. Okay. So what is your child's name? Okay. Also, I teach multiple classes, so I just want to confirm which class the child is in. Okay. You might have some other questions that you want to ask before you get going. Okay. And you can just fill those in there. But for me, that's all I need to know. I need to. Collect the email from the parent, check the child's name, check which class the child is in. Next, you need to create a drop down question. Drop down question. Okay? And this question here is where your linking with Google Calendar will take place. Okay? So I'm going to put it here. Okay. Now then, that's done, and that's done. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, oh yeah, actually I need to get this as a required answer. These are always good to make sure you get a required answer. Otherwise the parent can just skip past it. So I need that as a required answer. Okay. Parent meetings. Okay. Now I'm going to head over here. And I go to my add-on. So we remember we installed the add-on here, but when you're actually going to use the add-on, you click here, add-ons. Okay. And it's a booking calendar that I'm going to use. As mentioned, I used I did try doing this with some other apps, and it wasn't as successful as successful. So booking calendar is the app I would recommend. Okay. Okay, and here you go, it's popped up, you see? Configure booking calendar. So that's what you want to click on here. Click configure Booking Calendar, and that will basically link your Google Calendar with your Google Form. Okay, so we click here, configure, and a little box pops up on the right hand side. And then over here, you need to make sure you're linking your calendars, your correct calendar, with your correct question. Okay, so I don't want that calendar, I want the calendar that I set up, which is this one. And I want it to match up with the parent meetings. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and I'm collecting emails. Great. Okay, so that's correct. Save. Okay, and I'm going to go to the next step. So this is the uh, format for showing the time. Choose this one up. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the next section. Okay, the next section is very important. So um, I actually have um, about 12 slots I'll have all together. So I'm going to increase that to 12. So it depends on how many slots you have. So I have 12 slots. I'm going to go up. In here, load event booking until it reaches. So if you're having parent teacher meeting and you're only needing one. Uh, the parents of one child at a time, you need to have this at one. Okay? If you have it for more than one, it means that you'll have multiple parents coming at the same time. So make sure you set that at one. Okay? Okay. Also, the event that I'm booking is at the end of the month. It's now the beginning of the month. So I need to really set this to be like 30 days in advance. Okay? Otherwise, it won't be open to the parents until it gets closer to the event. Okay? So I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit save. The page before, and yeah, that's all set as well. Okay, that's all set up, and it looks like I'm now ready. Oh, yes, and you can see it's all been input there as well. Okay, so I'm now ready to view my Google form to see if it's working correctly. So I can click here on preview. So, this is what it will look like when I send it to a parent. Okay, so child's name. Which class? Okay, and then I have the drop down menu here. And I have all the different times. Okay, 
So the parents can then choose which time is convenient for them. They can click it, and they hit submit, and then it will be booked. And then what will happen is they will get an email confirming their booking, and that will, in that email, it will include a link to the Google Meet. So when the time comes, they will just click on that link, and then we will have our live conference, just like that. OK. I hope that's um, helped. It is a pretty easy thing to do, and it's very, very useful, I said, especially now with all the schools closed and us having to use technology to uh, communicate with parents who are at home while we're at school. And this is a great way to organize it. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, you can put a question into the uh, comments below, and I will try to answer it and help you out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, please click like, and also please remember to subscribe. Thank you.